All right, so what is my secret tip to getting rid of man boobs without lifting weights? Guys. Hey guys, Mark McKillar here with Live Anabolic. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of moobs with dumbbells. So what is a moob? It's a man boob. Nobody wants man boobs. Matter of fact, behind having a big gut, the second worst thing for any guy is having big saggy breasts like a woman. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. And then at the end of these five different dumbbell exercises, I'm gonna give you an additional tip on how to get rid of those man boobs without using dumbbells. All right guys, so a big, powerful, muscular chest is something everybody wants, right? Um, it's also something that you can see through a shirt, okay? So you can see obviously now I'm wearing a tank top, but if I'm wearing a t-shirt or even a golf shirt, you can still see that I have a big chest. And of course that, that really looks cool, you know, because 99.9% .9 of the time we have our shirt on, all right? Very, very seldom do us older guys take our shirts off. So it's, it's an impressive muscle group in any situation. And then secondly, it's, it's a muscle group that's big and because it's big and we can grow it so much, it's, it, it helps us with burning calories, basically. So your legs are the number one muscle group as far as burning calories. And your chest and back are the other two big muscle groups in your upper body that are really impressive and are, are great for developing and sending signals to our brain to ramp up production of testosterone. Now, before I get into the five different exercises, I wanna just talk about dumbbells in general, okay? So guys, for you all working out at home, uh, you don't wanna go buy a whole giant set of dumbbells from five pounds all the way up to 50, 60, 70, all right? That's just, it's just huge. So I've found, and I've been using these adjustable dumbbells for a couple of years now. Uh, they're made by a company called Core. Lots of different companies make adjustable dumbbells, all right? Now these are expensive, all right? I get it. But look, that's all I need. And I can go from anywhere from five pounds up to 50 pounds in five pound increments. So this is what you do, you just turn the handle, and I dial in 20 pounds here, pick it up, that's 20 pounds. Put it back in its cradle, go down to 10 pounds, that's 10 pounds. All right, put it back in its cradle, you know, so that's all you do to adjust these dumbbells. And remember guys, I know it's expensive, but it's a one time, okay, expense. These things are gonna last, you know, 20 years, right? So I think it's worth it to just suck it up, and if you know you're gonna be working out at home for a long period of time, just go and find you a good set of adjustable dumbbells. I promise you, you'll thank me later. And when you're moving from one exercise to another, we're always changing the amount of weight, right? Because some exercises you're really strong on, you need a lot of weight. Some exercises are much more difficult. You gotta dial it down. Well, you just saw how quickly I can adjust the weight, man. It's literally just a few seconds. All right, so lots of reasons to buy this thing. Um, it's, 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 it'll, it's a huge space saver. These things can go just basically anywhere, all right? So I don't, you're not gonna have you know 12 <laughs> pairs of dumbbells laying around in your bedroom or your den. All right, so without further ado, let's move into these different exercises. Now remember, your chest is a pretty big muscle group and there's really two major muscle groups of your pecs, all right? And you, you, got an, you got an upper muscle here and a lower muscle. Now. Every exercise I show you today is gonna to work both the upper and lower pec muscles, okay? But we're gonna emphasize one muscle group over the other depending on which exercise I show you, okay? So the very first thing I'm gonna do is something called a bridge press. Now I'm gonna dial in a fairly heavy weight here, guys. And I'm gonna get down into my starting position. <laughs> Do this straight on the ground. All right, so I like to get these dumbbells up on the end. All right, so before I pick up the dumbbells and start going through the motion, I wanna show you how to do the exercise with the correct form with no dumbbells. So a bridge press, I'm gonna get down on my back with my feet firmly planted and my knees bent, and all I'm gonna do is just raise my hips up. And I'm gonna stay in this position right here with my hips. And I'm gonna be pressing, okay, these dumbbells straight up and down. All right, so this is like 
something called a decline press if you were working out at a gym. You get on a bench that's angled and your head would be lower than your feet and that's all we're doing here. And when we do this bridge press, what we're doing is we're emphasizing the lower pec muscles, okay? Now we're still working the upper, all right? So we're still working your entire pec, but we're just putting a little more emphasis on the lower pecs. Now guys, this is, this is an alternating bridge press, all right? So get my hips up in the air and I maintain that position. And I want you guys to just do one arm at a time, okay? And the reason I have you doing alternating is because it's more difficult, okay? You're gonna be a little bit off balance, which means you're gonna have to engage some of these little stabilizer muscles in your shoulders and your legs and your hips, all right? So if I was doing them together like this, which is fine, that's just a little easier. And I like to kind of mix things up, guys. So bridge press alternating and when I say do 10 reps or 12 reps or whatever, that means on each arm, okay? So 10 reps in one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, all right? That's how you count when you're doing alternating any exercise. Try it out, guys. And remember, keep those hips elevated the entire time. Okay, so exercise number two is called an incline dumbbell press. Now, basically it's the exact opposite, okay, of that bridge press that I just showed you. So this time our head is gonna be higher than our feet, which means we're gonna be placing a little bit more emphasis on the upper part of our chest relative to the lower part. Now remember, we're still working the entire chest, okay? We're just changing where some of the emphasis is. Now, before I put, pick up the dumbbells and show you how to do it, I'd like to show you how I set it up here, guys. So I like to take a cushion off the couch and put it here. And the reason is I'm gonna lay down on this. And when I do, it's gonna elevate my back slightly off the rest of the couch, all right? Which means I can get a bigger range of motion. So when I come down like this, my elbows can go down behind my back, okay? So let me just go through the motion without the dumbbells. So I'm gonna have my back resting here, all right? My butt's gonna be sagging down below my shoulders, below my head, that's the incline, okay? Your feet don't have to be straight. I like to have my feet bent like this. That's the only thing that matters is your upper torso. Then I'm gonna get the dumbbells here and I'm just gonna be pressing straight up and down, okay? Boom, boom, all right, see? So if I didn't have this, this cushion behind me, my elbows would hit the bottom cushions before they got behind my back. So I, I just basically am increasing the range of motion, which is always good on any exercise, guys. So let me get everything into position here. All right. Put these things on my thighs. Then I get down here into position, okay? This is very similar to how I do it at the gym, okay? If I was on an incline bench, okay? And then I just kick them up with my thighs into position, and then whew, just start pressing straight up and down. Now guys, whew, I'm trying to control this weight all the way up and down. I'm not jerking, I'm not exploding, okay? This is not an explosive movement, and I'm slowly pushing those dumbbells up. And at the bottom, you can see my elbows are actually touching this cushion, but it's not resting on the cushion. That is resting on the cushion. Now I've taken all the stress, all the weight is off my chest, and my elbows are holding these dumbbells up, okay? And the cushions. So, straight up, you can touch, but it's not really assisting me because I'm just barely touching those cushions. And then, to finish the movement, come here, back to my thighs, okay? And then you can lower them to the ground, all right? So guys, I was doing two arm presses there. If you wanna make it more difficult, because let's say you don't have enough weight, okay? Let's say your dumbbells aren't heavy enough to put enough stress on your chest, okay? You're just stronger than the amount of weight you have. That's when you can start doing alternating presses, okay? Because that will make, it's more difficult. It makes the weight feel a little heavier. And then another trick is, guys, if you don't have enough weight, okay, for your, for your strength level, go slower, okay? Really slow down that tempo. 
And what that does is that increases the time under tension on your muscle fibers. And man, guys, that'll really make those things start burning. Okay, so the third exercise is something called a dumbbell fly. All right, now, you see that I got a cushion down on the floor here. It's for the same reason that I put the cushion behind my back when I was doing incline presses. It's so that I can get a wider range of motion, okay? So that I can get my elbows behind my back. If I didn't have that cushion and I was laying on the ground, my elbows would come to here and they'd hit the ground and that's as, that's as far as I could go. So I think it's a real creative way, guys, to getting a better stretch, all right, when you're doing this movement. Now, because of the leverage involved when you're doing flies, your arms are gonna be way out here as opposed to in here when we're doing presses. So because of that, it's, it's a physics problem. You're not gonna be as strong, okay? So the weight is gonna have a bigger leverage advantage over your muscles because you're way out here as opposed to in here. And of course, that means you just can't do as much weight. So be careful, guys. This is an exercise I want you guys to focus more on the form and not so much on the weight, okay? So can't use nearly as much weight. And I like to start off at the top here, okay? And then I'm gonna slowly lower these dumbbells out and then you're gonna see that my elbows are gonna basically touch the ground, okay? And then that's the bottom of the movement and then I'm gonna squeeze it back up, okay? So you see I have a bend in my arms and that bend stays pretty much consistent throughout the full range of motion, all right? So this is a squeezing motion and you might wanna think of trying to hug a big giant 55 gallon barrel, okay? So I'm not pushing up, okay? I'm letting this dumbbells come way out here like a fly, like I'm flying with my arms, like a bird almost. And then I'm squeezing my chest and pulling my hands together, okay? And you don't need to come all the way together at the top, okay? So when you're all the way together at the top, now that weight is being transferred straight down through my shoulders and it's taking some of the tension off of my chest. So I want you to come down to bottom, all the way down and then come up and then stop about right here, okay? Now I still have some tension on my chest and that is a really effective way of doing these flies. All right, exercise number four, something called a pullover. Now, you'll notice I've got two cushions down on the ground here, all right? So it's just, it's getting my back that much further off the ground. And because in this exercise, it's more important because we need a, a bigger stretch, okay? And I'm gonna show you the form in just a second. So, you know, two cushions is better than one in this case. Matter of fact, even when you're doing flies or if you're just doing a straight flat chest press, you might want to experiment. You might like two cushions better than one, okay? So it does give you a wider range of motion. Some of you guys are not that flexible, so you don't need it, okay? But this exercise, I think, is, is one that you're almost always gonna need two cushions, all right? So I'm way up off the ground now with my back, all right? And I have the dumbbell sitting on the end here. Now guys, I want you to grasp the dumbbell with both hands, all right? And then I'm going to just basically squeeze and bring my arms straight up over my head, okay? And then I'm gonna lower it back down until I just barely feel the dumbbell hit the ground and then straight back up, okay? Now, you're gonna feel this not just in your chest, but you're gonna feel this in your abs and your core as well, guys. And then another thing most people don't realize is when we hit our chest, you're also working some of your back muscles, your lats right here are engaged when I'm doing these pullovers. And remember guys, big chest is great, but having a big wide back looks fantastic, especially when you're wearing clothes. You can still see how wide your shoulders and your back are. Another thing guys, you gotta go slow on this exercise. So if you just kinda, if you bend your elbows, all right, like this, and bring it up, you're not gonna get nearly as much out of it. Try to keep your arms straighter. Now, don't lock your elbows out, but the further away from your head you can keep that dumbbell, the more leverage it's gonna have over you and the more difficult it's gonna be. So it's gonna put more stress on those chest muscles. All right, so. 
so it's a pretty strong movement there so you guys are going to be able to do much more weight than we were using just a few minutes ago when we were doing the flies so it's just going to take a little bit of experimenting all right now remember if you don't have dumbbells that are heavy enough to make this exercise difficult just like all the other ones artificially make that weight heavy by slowing your tempo down, okay, and then doing more reps. And that increases that time under tension, and that's what's gonna make that lactic acid really kick in. All right, the fifth and last exercise today for our chest is a real straightforward, it's just a flat chest press. Now guys, this is, this is what you would consider like a bench press at the gym, all right? So the bench is gonna be flat, we're gonna be pushing the weight straight up and down, but instead of using a bar, we're gonna be using dumbbells as a matter of fact, I prefer dumbbells over a bar almost any time, whether I'm at the gym or at home. And if you guys follow a lot of these really serious bodybuilders online, you'll notice that they rarely use barbells anymore. The only time it seems like they use them is when we're doing squats or something like that for your legs. Almost all upper body exercises now are done with dumbbells or cable machines or some kind of other you know, specific machine with a select weight, okay? Rarely do we use barbells anymore, and this is a this is a really good way of doing them at home. And just like some of the other ones, I, I like using a cushion because it's going to give me a wider range of motion. Now, one of the tricks, of course, is how do you get started? Because you might be using some fairly heavy dumbbells. I like putting them on their ends like this. Real simple way to get them in position if you don't have a workout partner. Okay, so. Get them close to my thighs here. Now, I'm gonna keep my feet planted like this, okay? You don't need to be flat like this on the ground, okay? So, you would be sitting more or less like this if we were at the gym on an elevated bench, all right? Your feet would be flat on the ground. I'm just gonna basically curl these dumbbells up. Now, they're being carried by my elbows or on the ground right now, so my chest is not really engaged. All right, starting position down at the bottom. And unlike a fly, this is a pushing or a pressing movement. I'm just going straight up and straight down and you can tell that I'm trying to really control those dumbbells on the way down. So that is the eccentric part of the movement and that is just as important as the concentric part of the movement which is where I contract my muscles and I push the weight up, okay? Now if I didn't have this cushion behind me, my elbows would be bottoming out and hitting the ground and I wouldn't be able to go nearly as deep. And I really like feeling that stretch in my chest when I do this. I think it really is a much more effective way of engaging more muscle fibers. And then of course, when you're finished, if you're really fatigued and you're just dying, see, you just, the dumbbells go right here and I'm just, I'm just holding these things. My elbows are carrying all the weight, all right? So, boom, set them back down. That's it guys, five fantastic exercises, nothing but dumbbells, all focused on our chest. Remember, we need to get rid of those man boobs. That is not a pretty sight. And stick around because I'm gonna tell you my tip to get rid of man boobs that has nothing to do with dumbbells. All right, so what is my secret tip to getting rid of man boobs without lifting weights? Guys, it's right here, your mouth, nutrition. You got to be very careful about what goes in there because even if we build a really impressive muscular chest, if it's covered with fat, you'll never be able to see it. So getting rid of the fat is really critical to eliminating those man boobs. And so guys, nutrition is really the only thing that we have in our lives that we really do have 100% control of, okay? nobody is forcing you to eat poorly, all right? So no matter where you are, I don't care if you're at a party, if it's a business meeting, whatever, okay, you're on the run, you're traveling, you can always find healthy things to eat. It's as simple as that. There just isn't an excuse. So I understand people falling off the, off the wagon occasionally and, and, and eating poor, that's okay. Get right back on the wagon and start eating good again because you have to be in a caloric deficit, which means you have to be taking in fewer calories every day than you're expending in energy, all right? 
It's as simple as that. So no matter how many chest exercises you do, no matter how many great ideas I give you with dumbbells, it ain't gonna matter if you continue to eat terrible. That is the tip, guys. And remember, you're not gonna get rid of all those man boobs overnight. You gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.